Thanks for joining us. I'm Chad Carter. We start with our team coverage of the breaking news this morning. Crews have removed a car that earlier fell onto Max tracks near the tunnel of the Sunset Transit Center. Police say it started with the driver driving way too fast. Carly Kennelly is pinpointing the delay it's going to cause for Max Line users. But we start with Coin Local 6 reporter Brent Weisberg. He's live for us at the Transit Center there in Beaverton. Brent, good morning to you. Chad, good morning. Just got an update from TriMet officials here, and it sounds like the damage that was caused is much more severe than we originally thought. I'm going to step out of the way and have my photographer push in here, and you can see the crews are still working. TriMet officials now saying that the Sunset Transit Center will not reopen until 6 o'clock tonight. That is the earliest estimate they are giving. So commuters will want to be aware of this. This all started around 1113 last night, according to investigators. The driver who caused this crash, now identified by Beaverton Police as 27-year-old Jeff John Robertson of Vancouver. They say he was speeding along Highway 26, trying to get onto Highway 217. That's when his BMW crashed, went over the embankment here, and landed on the Max tracks. Crews had to call in a crane to haul his BMW off the tracks. We spoke with some witnesses who saw this all unfold. As soon as I found out that he was on the tracks, I came down to see if, if he was okay. Somebody else actually helped pull him out of the car, but he was fine. He's just got some major cuts and bruises. And it sounds like most of the damage here was to the overhead lines here that the uh, MAX trains run on. That's where we've seen the uh, TriMet officials here trying to repair those again. Service will not be restored until 6 o'clock tonight. The driver, again, he is from Vancouver, identified as 27-year-old Jeff John Robertson. He was booked into the Washington County Jail on several charges, including DUI, reckless driving, and criminal mischief. He was not hurt, despite falling all the way down from that off-ramp right here onto the tracks. I know Carly's going to have more information on how commuters can get around this headache. Chad, back to you.